Today, we will be looking for the solution of the integral of u divided by quantity u squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves using trigonometric substitution. First, draw any right triangle. Let's assume that the integration variable u is along the vertical side of this triangle. Now, choosing whether u or a is on the vertical or horizontal or hypotenuse of the triangle actually depends on the problem. Again, here, let's assume that u is on the vertical side of the triangle and the constant a is on the horizontal side of the triangle. Apparently, the hypotenuse is equal to square root of u squared plus a squared as dictated by the Pythagorean theorem. Now based on the figure, if this triangle has an angle theta here, then u is equal to a tangent theta because tan theta is equal to u divided by a. And the integral of u, which is du, is equal to a times the derivative of tangent theta, which is second square theta times the derivative of theta, which is d theta. Next, I want to have a trigonometric expression for quantity u squared plus a squared raised to 3 have In this triangle, I have square root of u squared plus a squared, and I could just write sine theta equals u divided by square root of u squared plus a squared, but I'll choose cosine theta because cosine theta connects the constant a with square root of u squared plus a squared because apparently it is easier to integrate this expression if we use a factor that is a constant rather than another integration variable like u. So rewriting this expression in terms of square root of u squared plus a squared, I'll end up with a second theta. I now have trigonometric expression to substitute in this integral. So let me plug this expression. Integral of u du divided by quantity u squared plus a squared raised to 3 half is equal to integral of u. Our expression for u is this one. So a tangent theta. Then du, our expression for du is this one. divided by, this is our expression for square root of u squared plus a squared, and based on this integral, it is raised to 3 because this is raised to 3 halves. So again, I have integral of a tangent is equal to sine theta over cosine theta times a second square theta d theta divided by a cube because of the denominator here times second cube theta. Note that second square theta divided by second cube theta we end up with second theta. Here essentially we have a times a divided by a cube so we end up with 1 over a. Finally, 1 over cosine theta is actually second theta, so these two cancels out. And we end up with integral of 1 over a sine theta d theta, which is equal to 1 over a negative cosine theta plus a constant, but I won't write it here. We can assume that this constant is just zero since we don't have any initial condition or boundary conditions. And going back from the figure, cosine theta is equal to a divided by square root of u squared plus a squared. 1 over a negative a divided by square root of u squared plus a squared. This cancels out and we end up with negative 1 over u squared plus a squared. So that's it. The integral of u du divided by u squared plus a squared raised to 3 halves is equal to negative 1 over square root of u squared plus a squared.
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.